Hi everybody, welcome back to Her Light Cosmic Tarot. So, it's been a while. Guys, it's truly been a while. So, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for coming back. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you for all the new subscribers because I know y'all are going to hit that button. Um, I've been unwell. I've been sick. Um, I'm not sure if it was COVID or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I've been sick and um, it hasn't been nice. I haven't been feeling well. Like, I haven't been this sick in a while and it lasted a long time. Like the whole month I felt like crap. So and I didn't get tested because yeah, no, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Try to let my body naturally purge everything that doesn't belong. But anyways, I have a lozenge in my mouth. So if you see that I'm, you know, have something in my mouth, that's what it is because I've noticed that if I talk for a long time, my throat gets dry and then it gets very irritated and then I'm back at square one again. Anyways, but thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It is a rainy day. I'm in my car. I needed some peace because we're all in quarantine and everybody's at the house and it's noisy and this is my solace. I love the rain. I love all things water. I have two water places, prominent places in my chart. So I love all things water. Anyways, um, I miss you guys. Um, it's just been a long time and I've been like dying to get back on here. Um, I didn't put makeup on, but I put some gloss on. So I look a little bit, you know, better. I don't look like craziness. But um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be doing this. I'm happy to be out here with you guys. Um, Spirit told me to start with Pisces. So Pisces, you are it today. Um, I got a couple of messages. It was actually scary. And I'm like, wait. And it hit like the radio was playing. And not the radio. Well, I have my phone hooked up to here so my music plays and then I saw something and it was the same thing that was just said through the speakers and I was like holy god that's something so um yeah I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna say a brief prayer and then we'll get started so thank you Holy Spirit for the collective of Pisces all the sun moon rising and Venus Pisces spirit please come through giving me the highest messages for the collective of Pisces. Thank you for assisting us on this path. Thank you forever and always. Amen. So, um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to do this, you know, message and then I'm going to go in with the cards. So, you know, and I've also been wanting to do different things. So I'm going to pull some other cards. Like I want to tap into health and I want to tap into money, uh, money finances, because I feel like I do a lot of love readings here. And I just want to pull a couple of cards for that just to see where you guys are at. <clears throat> it would have been nice. If it would have. I think I have a bottle of water in here. So hopefully. Um, so the message came through as like you you or somebody is watching you there's a wolf watching you there's i saw and i meditated over the cards i shuffled them off camera i saw there's a wolf watching you know how a wolf watches their prey and they're like looking to see when to attack or when to come in it's like somebody or something is waiting for the right time to come in or to attack. Like, um, there's a wolf. These eyes are very piercing. You can't miss it. You cannot miss it. Um, and then as I was shuffling all the cards, I even have my oracle deck here. There was hunter on it. Wolves are hunters. So there's... um. There's a person or you're in this energy that's around you that could potentially be watching you. 
If I see the Page of Swords, somebody's watching your ass. <laughs> no, I'm just like, <laughs> um, yeah, so somebody's either watching or waiting for the perfect time to um, take action. That's essentially what I got. So I'm going to go on with Gina Thesis deck. My first deck, my lovely first, the Tarot of the Moors. I haven't done cards. And then I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna um go in with um Shiro Marchetti's um Kipper deck. I love these because you know, even though they don't have diversity in them, it kind of clarifies the message. And these ones, these this Kipper deck is always on point point i can't talk um and then i'm using the angels and ancestors deck um oracle cards i love these damn things they're gorgeous i'm actually i got several new decks guys i'm so excited to use them and i got um another deck on the way and i'm gonna be oh my gosh don't do that to me the cards just all fell um and I have the tiniest tarot or the tiny tarot. So I'll be using that as well. So okay. So holy spit. I c I didn't even really, you know. You got the hierophant. So uh that's your first one. One of the cards for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Okay. I've... Lord, I'm... <laughs> Under the deck is the Six of Pentacles with this. Okay. So you got the Hierophant. The Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Can't make this up. Page of Swords. Didn't I say somebody's watching you? Somebody is watching you. Somebody is watching you. It's, I can't make it up. Can't make it up. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna go in with the tiny tarot. Okay. Three of pentacles. Another three of pentacles. I'm here in collaboration. Collaboration. Support. Collaboration. Okay. You have the Three of Pentacles twice. Twice. Who wants to come in and collaborate with you or work on something with you? Okay. Kipper Deck, Distant Horizons. So somebody's thinking about this. Somebody's thinking something okay where am i gonna put you i don't have any room sorry if the camera's shaking guys lo siento yeah somebody's thinking about a collaboration with you but i'm gonna i'm gonna dig more into it Okay. Oh, the child. Yeah, something new. Something new. You can't make this up. Okay, I'll put it there on my dash. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to work on something with you. What are you guys doing, Pisces? 
One more, please. Courtship. Uh, under the Kipper deck is despair. Oh, okay. Don't do it. We're going to get it right. Hold on. Don't do it. Come on. I need a bigger dashboard. <laughs> they need to make a tarot based dashboard so that I can put my cards. Cause I love doing tarot in the car, guys. It's so because you're in your own little world and people are walking by. You can get your signs and your signals and your synchronicities, you know, right from the people around you. So yeah, under this deck is despair. So somebody's in their freaking head, somebody's feeling it. I'm show you somebody's in their head somebody is feeling it somebody's down and out and very concerned i'm hearing people think i'm hearing somebody's like oh they've moved on and if it's a love connection whoever you're connected with is concerned and they're feeling like shit right now if you left this person in the past when i did do the premeditated shuffle i did see the eight of cups so if you left this person in the past, this person is now like feeling it. And they're concerned. And they want to come in with a gift. I'm hearing like an apology. And because you do have the six of pentacles under the Tarot of the Moors deck. So somebody here wants to try to balance the scales, wants to try to balance things out by the Three of Pentacles. Collaboration, working on things. I feel like somebody's been working on themselves or seeing somebody go into a counselor or I'm hearing like self-help. Like, how can I help myself? How can I be a better person? Or how can I be um, successful? I feel like if this is about, I'm getting this is about you have the three of swords here. So I'm getting a love situation first. And then I'm getting like this person that you are with saw things black and white and didn't really see that there's a ray and there's a hue of colors in between black and white. Because um, look at this hierophant here. He's on the ground and he's, um, he's researching and he's meditating because he's in this meditation pose like... He's trying to figure out how to go forward. He's trying to figure out, you see he's on these, you know, black and white squares here. So he's starting at the bottom, at the foundation, and he's working his way up. Do you see this gray background here? He's working his way up, researching and refining um, all the things that he's being taught or all the things that he's reading. Yeah, and you see it here as well. Look at the gray background. He starts at the basis of a black and white. Things are just black and white. But as he as he learns, as he obta obtains knowledge, he gets into this gray background here. Everything rises. And you know, he starts at the base chakra. He's wearing red. And as he enlightens himself, as you go up to the crown chakra, everything is, you know, gray. And the color gray signifies wisdom, gaining wisdom.
and he continues to gain wisdom. Three of Pentacles to me is, you know, collaboration, working on something, focusing. Um, it could also mean like school or um, yeah, it, it just or collaboration, like I said, working on something with somebody else, partnering up. Figuring things out. That's what the Three of Pentacles to me is. This person who you probably were with in the past is could be thinking of um, if this person wants to be with you or not. Um, if this person really thinks that you're their ideal person and that you, you've come so far with them. They could ideally ask you to... Um, to ask you to go to counseling with them. Marriage counseling. I'm saying marriage counseling because we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is all things um, institutions, religious factors, you know, religious institutions. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of people were left in the dark. If this person or you left, this person was left in the dark and not knowing how to fix the situation. It's like they inquiring about how to um create a stabilized structure so that the relationship will not fail and they and they know that they have to seek out a counselor or a higher source to assist them in this journey I feel like you or this person could possibly have been working on yourself, working on self-help. Focusing on you, focusing on creating and establishing and, um, you know, waiting for, I'm hearing waiting to put yourself out, out there again. So if this is you, you could possibly be learning about yourself, learning how to, um, and this to me, also this three of pentacles could also symbolize to me, like working on aligning yourself, working on, um, aligning your chakras. So I feel like if this was you and you walked away from somebody, this is you, um, working on yourself, enlightening yourself. Like, I see that you are, you know, have been working on yourself and you're willing to open up, but so much, but for so much. Like, she's got pink on and pink to me symbolizes like, um, playfulness, like ready to open up, ready to, it's not yet red. And even though heart chakra is the color of green, pink also opens up the heart chakra as well so you're playing with the idea of opening up but as she's looking out here in this broad land that's barren it's like but you don't see any prospects or you don't see how how can this growth here come here how can that abundance there i don't see it on the horizon like, I'm ready, I'm preparing myself, and I'm, you know, establishing my grounds over here. And I would like to see this over here. I would like to see this over here, but I really can't see it. I really don't have hope for that. Because what you see over there is heartbreak. I don't know how it's going to... You see heartbreak over there. And destitution. <clears throat> you know? You see disappointment. Because you see these pink, this pink, how it matches her dress. It's almost like um, you, you can't see it because almost like you don't want to see it because you're 
you're okay where you are look how the waters are calm here like you are disappointed you are um disappointed in love but you're okay with where you are like you are building you're establishing um and you this is essentially to me i don't want to rock the boat i don't want to rock the boat like i want this but i don't want to rock the boat the page of swords here too is about learning i'm getting like two messages in this reading guys so if it's all over the place The Page of Swords is about learning. So this this reading to me is about um, the, this part of the reading because there's different messages in here is about learning, learning yourself, working on um, your transformation. I'm hearing like building upon, just building upon and learning in like being honest with yourself, starting from the ground up. Like sticking to it. I'm hearing that you guys are not either you're not sticking to it or you see how she has this sword and it's in her hand. But I'm I'm feeling like you're not somebody's not sticking to it. You have to stick to it. You have to stick to this ideal or or way of being. If you guys are too like kind or too okay, you know, or whatever. In relationships you have to stick to your guns whatever you want you say what you want do what you want keep it consistent keep it consistent in regards to this person I think why I was seeing um, the wolf um, could be that you are you know on the lookout to date again put yourself out there I'm hearing put yourself out there if this, is a, if this is a past connection where you walked away, um, this person could have potentially been, um, you know, going to get help, going to uh, um, researching self-help books, working on themselves, establishing um, some ground. They still have some some ways to go, but they have been working on themselves. Um working on the hurt working past the disappointments working past um working i'm hearing like working for the future like establishing ground for the future i'm hearing and yeah they watching you page of swords it's like they're checking up on you they're watching your page or if somebody um you know, you know that they know. They're like, oh, yeah, have you spoken to them? You know, like little things like that. Because you do have for the Kipper deck, it's like distant horizons and you have the child. Like they're dreaming or you're dreaming about something new coming in. And it says courtship, so a partnership. A partnership new to the dating scene something on the horizon something new this is like a dream ship this is somebody awaiting something new in the form of a partnership or a relationship you have collaboration relationship all over this reading collaboration collaboration like and if you guys uh, have walked away and you are interested in pursuing something in the future you're all you you can currently working on yourself i don't know if i see anything um i do see something coming in but at this time i don't think you're potentially ready just yet but i see something coming in in the future as far as a partnership this could be love related but i think you're going to start off as friends more than anything like you ain't this is not Pinnacles are slow. This is not. You're not moving fast with this one. No, no, no. Because you're like, I'm learning. I learned. I'm not doing that. You know? Can I have an advice oracle card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You know what? Let me get a card for finances and health. So, Holy Spirit, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What? 
Can you give me a card for how their health is? Health. So this could be um, in regards to your mental health. I have false person and I have a wealthy man. Um, I feel like you could be dealing with um, a person, it is not gender specific, but you could be dealing with a person who is very um, prominent, um, very successful, has money and stuff like that. And who has, um, they're like showing a mask. And it's, and it could be potentially making you feel like you're crazy. Like, um, like you could be like, this could also be a person who, um, has narcissism and stuff who gaslights you and your mental health could be targeted at this time like i'm keeping on hearing like am i crazy like am, am i am i like what like that's what i keep hearing like was i wrong am i crazy that that's what i'm hearing How about Pisces money? Can I have a card for Pisces finances and career? Pisces finances and career. Be careful. Watch out for people who are showing you something that you think you want or that you that's enticing because it's not um it's not what you really want. It's like, you're like, oh, yeah, I think I want that. And then it's like, it's it's almost like a con out of your money. Like, it's not worth your money. I'm hearing it's not worth your money. So if you guys are thinking about getting things or you're thinking about doing things, um, it's not worth your money. It's not worth your money. Whatever it is that you have been focusing on, thinking about getting... Um, you're like, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Because you see this lamp post in the background. It's behind this man. And he's not seeing it. It's hidden in plain sight. So if you guys are thinking um, about purchasing something, thinking about, um, I'm hearing like a lot of people are trying to get into, um, like self-employment, trying to do things. Somebody could want to offer you something. Somebody could want to work on something with you. Because I do have the collaboration card. Um, take, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Don't always just jump into it. Because I'm, I'm seeing that um, your money is potentially... Um, going to be targeted i'm hearing your time time is money money is time i'm hearing both so just be mindful watch out for that can i have an advice card for pisces sun moon rising and venus i don't know how people have like 10 minute readings that is bogus to, not bogus <laughs> i talk too much for that can I have an advice card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So, Summer. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm keep, they, keep, they keep bringing me back to the wolf. Remember there was a wolf in the beginning? Yes, watch out for something or someone that could potentially steal your time and money. And they're watching you. They're watching you. Somebody's watching you or something's going on right now. I don't... I don't know exactly what it is because this is a general reading, but... It's, it's, 
let's see if I can, um, when I read more into this, you have, I'm going to hold it up while I read it. You have summer. Rise up, open your wings and shine. Bring your projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Summer has always been recognized as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers are in full bloom. Animals are enjoying the freedom of the wild summer days and nights. And people are taking holidays, vacations, basking in the sunshine and being lifted energetically by the light and warmth. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is an inspiration directly from the divine. When the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or at the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your questions and intentions. So, I'm, I'm hearing summer, something is going to happen in summer where you guys are going to be from now and into the summer. You guys are going to be, for those who have um, had heartbreak or financial disruptions, I'm hearing something in the summer, um, something's going to be coming in the summer I'm hearing that some of you have been working on yourselves working on your finances for a very long time then um, the quarantine happened and you know out of all of a sudden it was like at a standstill but I feel like collaboration um, you know expansion of the mind expansion of um growth learning is coming and i feel like it's gonna hit um in a few weeks like when summer is around the corner i feel like you're gonna you know that saying you're gonna turn the corner like you've been putting in the work and you're gonna turn the corner. But be careful, watch out at this time because you know, there's a thief on the horizon. Somebody's trying to take something from you. Financially, time-wise, and or this could be um, about with your health. You could be also, um, it could be false things that you're telling yourself, too. I'm trying to see why the wealthy man would um, come up. That can mean a lot of things. Um, I'm hearing false ideologies. Those could be a part of your mental health. Those could be false ideologies that are keeping you from essentially this collaboration that's coming. Yeah, I'm hearing your investment is coming. The Yeah, your investment is coming. Also, I'm just getting something as just like be careful. We have this thief here. Be careful with any documents, any court documents. Um research, 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 research. If you have anything anything going on with court documents, 
because I'm, 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 it's, it's, I do have a feeling that you could be concerned that somebody's taking money from you or that you're getting hoodwinked out of your money or, or something like that. Like if it's a job, it's, they're not paying you properly or if it has to do with the courts, like they're, it's something, it, there's something about unfairness here. Something is unfair. Because when I look at the Six of Pentacles, I know it's like, oh, being generous and that. But I always see the downside of it. And I know this is Pentacles. It's like earthy. But I always, when I look at this, I always think of Libra. I know the Justice card and everything. But it's like always trying to balance the scales. Always trying to make it right. But who told you to make it right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It, it, that, it could go many different ways. I see that card all different ways. But a lot of the times I see it as like opportunistic um, gain. Like um, to boost themselves or to boost whatever. That's a different story. But um, yeah, look out for... Um, look out for the summer. Something's coming in the summer. Something about you've paid off, you know, you've, you paid off your debts. It could be karmic debts because we do have a circle here, a wheel, but be, be, but be careful. But be careful. That's all I have to say. Pisces, I hope that that resonated with you. If it didn't, please come back at a later date. Make sure you subscribe and any comments are welcome. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.